Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Harry Boomer, your host and executive producer of CW43 Focus. When I read this some seeds of literacy, it literally blew my mind. 66% of Cleveland adults are functionally illiterate. They are among 32 million Americans who cannot read or comprehend well enough to fill out a job application or read directions correctly. That does not mean that these individuals are dumb or stupid. Far from it. It means they face a challenge that puts them behind the eight ball. For example, an adult with a GED can make a million dollars more in a lifetime than an adult without one. Let me introduce my guests uh, who are here to talk more in detail about the problem. If they're from Seas of Literacy, they're going to talk about what they're doing. Bonnie Antler is the executive director at Seas of Literacy, and Dr. Carmen Stewart is the program director. There, ladies, it's good to have you back. Thank you. Thanks good so to much. See you. Thanks for having me. So it's been about two years or so since we've had you in-house here to talk about Seas of Literacy. So let's catch up a little bit. Bonnie, what have you been up to? And Dr. Stewart, what have you been up to? Um, a lot has changed over the last couple years. But I think the last time we were on, we were really sharing um, the huge changes of the GED exam. Um, but we have had some new vendors come into the state of Ohio. So um, the GED exam is no longer the only opportunity for students to earn their high school equivalency. We've got the TAS now, as well as the HiSAT. So we've adopted our programs to do that. And we've really been expanding and looking at our program to really help a lot of um, very low level readers. Um, so we've really done some expansion that way the last couple months. But tell me what the HiSAT is and the other one that you mentioned. The HiSAT is um, just a different vendor, different name of the GED test, um, and same as well as the TASC. Um, one is from Educational Testing Services, and one is from Data Recognition Corporation. Um, same thing as the typical GED. I think people just recognize the GED name similar to uh, their name brand. But it's been around, around for a long, long time. time right now. All right. Dr. Carmen Stewart, yeah. what's going on? Uh, so I think probably my, <laughs> my, what's been the biggest thing for me has been the beginning reader program that we instituted um, starting in November of this year. One of the things that was really important to us was to try to make sure that SEEDS is a place that any learner can come to learn and focus on their literacy goals or high school equivalency goals. And uh, it's a common practice for programs across the country to turn learners away if they test below a certain level, and that varies by program. But we decided that we were not going to be a program that turned people away. And so that was a, a huge change that we implemented in the fall of this year. Okay, we'll talk more about that and a lot more as we come back from the break. So stay where you are. Right. As we go to break, I want to invite you to catch my news reports weekdays at 4, 5, and 6 on our sister station, Cleveland 19. You can hit me up on Twitter at HarryBoomer19. Please like my fan page on Facebook. Email me at hboomer at woio.com. You can also call me directly at my desk, 216-367-7323 with news tips and story ideas. Thank you in advance for that. We'll be right back with my special guest from Seas of Literacy. So please stay.